Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. If you watched my previous videos, you will notice I had a couple of videos talk about how to do the Windows system to Oracle Cloud Platform Ubuntu VM. This post summarized the steps, script, and the images. That mostly was for Oracle Cloud Platform. About two years ago, I had a video to talk about the Windows 2008 to be DD into Google Cloud Linux VM. I think now is a good time to refresh this video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to DD Windows 7 into Google Cloud virtual machine. If you haven't watched my previous video, you can take a look at this blog post you will find in the video description to show you all steps. We are going to use in Google Cloud free tier computer engine to do this lab. This will give us 30 gig standard persistent disk and two virtual CPU and it's for free. Now, let's start it. We can always start with a new computer engine instance. Log into your Google Cloud Platform, go to your dashboard, select Computer Engine, you will see Create Instance button, click on it. Give a name, now we need to choose machine type. Since we decided to use E2 micro free tier type, which has two virtual CPU, one gigabyte memory. That should be enough for us to do this lab. If you want a more powerful virtual instance, then you can choose different type, but you will need to pay for that. For the free tier instance, you need to change the boot disk. Default, they will use a balanced persistent disk. The free one will be standard persistent disk and the maximum you can have 30 for free. So if you look at the free tier limitation, that's a 30 gigabyte month standard persistent disk. So we need to meet this requirement to get the free without get your charges when you're using this instance. That's the only thing you need to do, then you can create this instance. While GCP is creating our new instance, you will want to check the firewall port to make sure the firewall opened 3389 is port. So go to your VPC networks, choose the firewall, TCP 3389, which is the one I created before, Make sure source filters is for all IPs and then port is 3389. Let's go back to our computer instance. So it's now it's ready. We can do SSH. This is gonna transfer your SSH keys to your VM so we can have a browser to log in to our VM. We can tell we are using Debian. Now we need to go back our blog post. There's a section called DD Windows to GCP. You can use Debian 10 or Ubuntu 18.04. So which since we are using Debian, so we're gonna issue those command. G 
get it updated and then install some tools. It won't take um, more than one minute. So all has been done. Right after we're gonna find out the Windows section. You can have this copied. We're gonna copy it to a notepad. So one small change we need to make is IP address. So in, in the example script it's using 0 0.26 but if you look at your VM you may use a different one. So what you can do just copy this 21 IP paste it here. That's all you need to do. Um, before you paste this code into your virtual machine to run, you may want to double check this image URL, you are able to reach to it. This is simple to check. Go to your browser web console session to your virtual machine then wget. Make sure you are downloading. So we can see the downloading speed is so fast, it's 30 megabytes per second. In probably less than one minute, you should be able to download it. We don't need it right now. We just want to make sure it is working. Control A, Control C, and Control Shift V to paste in. Enter. Now you will see this standard DD processing as I showed you in the previous videos as well when I was using the Oracle Cloud Platform VMs as an example that so it's the same process they're loading all kind of kernel drivers so we're gonna wait this to be done um, if you are using premium or balanced persistent disk, they will cut down the time for 10 minutes around. Okay, you see this 197404 blocks and uh, then you will lose the connection. That is because system has been rebooted. We cannot wait and then come back to continue recording. While we are waiting, uh, we can check the system process through instance monitoring page, which is observability page. You can look at the CPU, you can look at network traffic and disk throughput as well. As you can tell, it was DD in downloading and then after the downloading finished, all the image has been write to the disk. The write and the read throughput has been reduced to the zero. So from that time, you probably will get some idea this process might have been done then you can start to try so we are using Windows 7 image this image is very small image only probably around 1.7 gigabytes if you're using larger uh, image let me take it longer this one is probably 20 minutes then the process probably already been done so let's go back to dashboard for the virtual instance you'll get the public IP 
and we gonna paste it into the, our remote desktop connection and start into connecting to it. So if you got this enter your credentials page, then most likely it's good now. So we can try to log in using the credential listing here. Uh, depending on the image you are using uh, for the one I'm using is NAT.E. Let's give it a try. NATE works for me. So right away I'm able to log in. First time login it will take a little bit time to create in a desktop profile for this new user. Uh, again this is a Chinese version of Windows 7. sound has been heard once I logged in it's pretty good and um, yeah memory is less than 500 megabytes we have one gig so more than enough CPU is almost zero there's a tool script BAT file so which is created by net.ee you can change the remote desktop port Sir password and reboot computer. That's the process for me to change the Linux virtual machine operating system to Windows 7 on a Google Cloud platform. I hope this video gave you some useful information for how to do this. If you want to change the OS system, you, not only Windows, you can change it to a computer new Ubuntu Debian uh, OS system as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching. See you next time.